Why do animals migrate? Firstly, depending on whether the days are getting longer or shorter, some animals are able to figure out which season is approaching and make a migration decision based on that. Hmm. Secondly, depending on the prevailing temperatures, huh? some animals are able to guess the incoming season and make a migration decision based on that. Hmm. Lastly, some animals decide when to migrate depending upon the availability of food in that area. If there is scarcity of food, they may decide to migrate to a place with abundant food supply. Hmm. Why are helicopters so noisy? When the main rotor of a helicopter starts rotating, the blades start spinning. Due to this spinning, air pressure above the blades starts dropping, while air pressure below the blades starts increasing. Now, air from high pressure area starts moving to low pressure area. This produces a lift, which causes the helicopter to rise. At the same time, a vortex is generated by the tip of a rotor blade. When this vortex hits the next advancing blade, the blade vibrates. The vibrations of the blade generate a loud sound. Hmm. Why is there a tiny hole in the airplane window? Firstly, the holes allow air to flow between the window panes, equalizing the pressure inside and outside the plane. This prevents the outer pane from cracking or breaking due to pressure changes. Hmm. Secondly, the holes allow moisture to escape, preventing the windows from fogging up. Hmm. Lastly, the holes allow air to escape, which reduces the whistling or humming sound caused by air flowing over the window. Hmm. Huh? What is human skin made up of? Epidermis, the top layer of our skin, makes new skin cells as well as protects us from germs, sun, and the rain. Also, it contains melanin, the pigment which gives our skin its color. Hmm. Dermis, the middle layer, is responsible for producing sweat as well as keeping our skin strong, flexible, and smooth. Also, it is Dermis's responsibility to tell us if something is too hot or cold. Hmm. Hypodermis, or fatty layer, is the bottom most layer. It protects our bones and muscles from injuries during a fall. Hmm. Why do humans have five fingers? A theory suggests that we have five fingers because together they make a perfect strong grip. Using them, we can operate small objects with great control and precision. Second theory suggests that three molecules called BMP, WNT, and SOX9 are responsible for our five fingers. Since in our embryonic stage, they mark out spaces specifically for these five fingers. Finally, Lim Law predicts that the number of fingers on our hand should be around five Based on the idea that since fingers must be able to reach back over our palm and cover it, the finger length should be roughly the same as the diameter of our palm. Hmm.